Gary, congratulations. Fabulous performance on your return to the European Championships. Just sum it up for us. Yeah, it felt like I was scoring well. Doubles were, especially the first leg, double two was, wasn't even close. And I think the second leg was the same, I think. And it was a, yeah, scoring fine doubles were a complete mess, but we got there at the end. First time back at the European Championships since 2016. A, a long hiatus from this tournament. Nice to be back. As as we won't, we won't start about the travelling because Brist, uh, British Airways done me like a kipper. <laughs> I've got to win this tournament just to break even. Put it that way. Uh, no, uh, yeah, as I, mean, I mean, like I say, I've, I've no had it. I mean. The European, well, the two Europeans that I've done, but I've been doing quite a few tournaments in uh, the Pro Tour on Hildenham Shine and places like that, and it's it's been good. You know, it's, it's I've enjoyed it. I wouldn't like to be away all the time, like every week, be away from home, but I, I just can't do it. But uh, what I have done, I've enjoyed it. You know. Yeah, look, you, you teased this return to the European Tour for a long time, and this year it finally happened. You're back winning on the European Tour. You, you're, you're back here, so that sacrifice must have been worth it. Yeah, I mean, I never ever said that I, I wouldn't ever do one. I always say that, I'd never say that, but uh, I say it always keeps the door open. But it's just like I say, I've, I've, I've got a young family, you know, I've, I've spent years living out of suitcases, and it's, it's since COVID and spending all that time at home, I've just enjoyed being home. You know, I mean, if, if I got beat tonight, trust me, I'd have been on the first flight home. You know, I just like getting back home, you know, and going to the football and taking me on to the horse riding and the odd day working up at the lakes, you know, I just, I, I kind of enjoy that life now. Potential round two clash with Michael Van Gerwen. You two have had some unbelievable games over the years, and we haven't seen it t- too often. So, would it be nice to play Michael on a big stage? I, yeah, it would, you know. But you, you're going back when I when I was good at that. You know, now I'm a kind of a bit hit or miss. But uh, yeah, hey, listen, we've had some we've had some belters. I've obviously the best game I've ever played in, bar for winning the world title, was uh, myself and Michael in Dubai. Outside, Gale Force wins. Thousand degrees uh, is a cracking game of darts. What would it mean to get your hands on another TV title? We've seen you win on the Pro Tour, the Euro Tour. What would it mean to get your hands on another ah, TV title? I'd be lying if I said that it, it would be nice, you know, but like I say, if it happens, fantastic. If it doesn't, Phil, I ain't going to lose any sleep, you know. I really enjoy doing the Pro Tours. TV ones, I could leave take or leave, you know, it's, it's, I'm at that kind of stage now, but I do like the Pro Tours, you know, we sit at the table waiting on them, and we'll have a cracking laugh, you know, it's, it's, it's how darts used to be, and I think that's what kind of helps me in the Pro Tours. Gary, congratulations. Thank you. Gary, you've spoken about how much you're enjoying playing that. Is that why we've seen these performances? You could have seen some leverage of over a ton. I know the great performance there, you've put in some stupid numbers this year already. I think because I've got no pressure. I mean, when I say I don't practice and I, I'm not fussed about it, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. You know, I'm, I'm hands down telling you 190% true. You know, so if I, if I turn up and I get beat, yeah, you, you want to win, but, you, but at the end of the day, I get to go home. You know, if you win, fantastic. And I think that's the pro tour, you know, I'm a couple of hours drive up the road. So if it does go wrong ways, it's in the can and back down the road, you know. But uh, yeah, I think I've got no expectations of what to do in a dart world nowadays. I just turn up and throw them, and it's, they have been. When they go well, they go well. Trust me. And it's uh, it's it's one of these things. And when it goes bad, it's sometimes it's not very pretty, but that's the way it goes. We saw what Matt the Decker did earlier on this month. About ten years ago, when we looked at entering TV tournaments, we say two, three, four people can win it. When you enter a tournament like this now, how many people do you think could actually feasibly go on and lift a trophy? Well, you can take it like the Pro Tour, 128 players, any one of them can win. You know, that's, that's how it's got. I mean, it, it doesn't seem big head or cocky, but if you go back 10 years, you could go, right, look at your draw, I'm going to make at least the semi-finals. You know, but nowadays, it's like, who's that? Don't know a name, you come up against them and they're fantastic, you know. But I think uh, that's over the next five, six years, especially with the amount of youngsters with, with Luke Littler, you know, he's just kind of spurred on a, another generation of that players that are starting about six, seven years old. So in the next six to eight years, there's going to be some players coming from all angles of the world, put it that way. And with you not being in this tournament for the past two years, that's so much more ranking money that 
you can just add on. Is that something that you're looking at? Have you set goals about where you want to be in those rankings? Don't want to go too far up. I might have to start going back on the road again. But <laughs> <laughs> listen, I just, like I say, I play darts. I mean, it's all the boys now, they're fighting for their place. I mean, look, it's, I'm just enjoying and grateful that I can still play darts, you know, and, and that's the thing. So squeezing darts, squeezing my family life, everything will be rosy. Cheers, Gary. Thank you. Thank you.